Hey guys, welcome back to episode 6 of my advanced train tutorial. Sorry for not uploading while well. I have just been busy with school and other various extracurriculars. I'll be working on this series again and I have a brand new line of episodes planned that feature track switching, signaling, and possibly even CSG modeling. Today we'll be working on the uh, velocity sound system which just pitches the sound depending on how fast the linear velocity is. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so before we want to get started on scripting, we first have to make a good looped audio so we can actually pitch it up or down. So how I use it is I use Audacity and I just find a good audio that I can loop. Okay, now that I have Audacity opened, I just want to get my looped sounds. So I'll just drag my loop sound. I'll put it in here. And then I want to try to loop it perfectly. It doesn't have to be perfect, but... So I want to loop this section here. That's perfect. So I'll just select from here all the way to here and press delete. And then select from here all the way to here select delete just move the loop here just drag this back a bit and then try to loop it perfectly there um so you can just drag this if you want to loop the audio that So that sounds perfectly looped. I will just save the file, export as MP3, and just save it as um, engine, or just um, looped engine sound. So we can pitch this sound up or down, depending on how fast we go. Okay, so now you want to go to create a dashboard, go into develop items, and just upload the sound. Um, looped engine sound and then just upload now let's get this looped engine sound let's go back into Roblox Studio so we can go into sound service click sound um, sound ID and we can just play see if it's looped so I'll just loop it So, yeah, that sounds per pretty looped to me. So I'll just drag this sound. I'll put it into driver scene. And I'll just rename it to uh, the engine. And yeah, I'll pitch up the volume a bit. And uh, yeah, we have the engine sound. Let's play it again. It's looped. Okay. Great. Uh, let's go into main and we just want this engine sound to play whenever the uh, speed is above uh, zero or below zero. So we can just check in here. Let's do a sp spawn a function. Um, actually, no, we don't need to spawn a function. We can just check it. If, um, Let's get linear velocity. Linear linear velocity dot line velocity. It's bigger than zero. Then and else if linear velocity dot line velocity is less than zero. Then so this is uh when it's going forward, this one is going backwards. Um and then else if linear velocity line of velocity equals to zero okay uh actually no let's let's get rid of this let's copy let's cut it and let's create a new uh, function so script script dot print uh, get property change signal um 
uh, throttle and then connect function. Now we can check if linear velocity, line velocity, blah blah blah. Uh, yeah. So we can just check if. Uh, actually, no, this. Forget this, forget this, forget this. Let's keep in here because we all have to check it anyways. So linear velocity or if let's create a new variable for our sound. Local engine equals script dot engine. If engine dot is playing, then we just do it for all of these. Right. So if it's zero, then we just wanna put it out. So engine stop. But for these ones, we want them to play. Engine play. Fuck. Okay. Engine play. Engine play. And let's test it out. The uh, audio should only play if it is above zero or below zero. After this, we'll just switch it up. Okay, uh, okay, um, no, engine is playing, oh yeah, it's EV switch, if, uh, if not engine playing, yeah, okay, there, this should fix it, and then after this, we can just pitch up the velocity. Test it. Yeah. So what now? When we go back to zero, it um uh, stops flying. So let's uh let's create. Let's actually pitch the velocity now. Uh, let's go into script, and I'll just rename this to um pitch sound pitch yeah and then i will just uh check if the seed is changed so script dot parent dot change next function but if it's changed i want to check if there's occupant first so if script dot parent dot occupant then now we just want to do a wall task dot wait Do, uh, so uh, so now we want to get the linear velocity so we can actually pitch it up so I'll just do local velocity go script dot parent dot parent base dot linear velocity dot line velocity and then we want to actually pitch up pitch or pitch down the sound so we can just do script dot engine script dot parent dot engine uh dot pitch pitch yes the cre the created but whatever doesn't matter uh plus velocity divided by 100 test this out this is also the same code i used in my uh advanced train system So, you can see, the faster we go, the higher the sound pitches. And this, if we decelerate, the pitch also pitches down. Okay, and let's go, let's go backwards. Yeah, okay, so we're done. This has been a short tutorial. Um, but yeah, if you want to actually add propulsion or whenever the player presses W, 
just do script dot parent get probably change signal uh throttle next function and then you know blah 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 if seat dot throttle is bigger than zero then just play the starting audio you know like this um but i won't deep too into that because it's pretty easy um it's just the sound pitch that seems kind of hard but isn't kind of hard so yeah i'll taught you how to loop an audio and how to pitch the sound depending on the velocity so thanks for watching if you have any the tutorial ideas just comment down below